Welcome to another session of uh, <laughs> my videos. I'm going to try something new today. I'm going to tie a fly in the background, and I'm going to then I'm going to do a voiceover. I'm going to read a little story um, that uh, Jack Harrell wrote about the origin of the Ramon salmon killer. So I won't really be talking about the fly as I'm tying it, but you should be able to see the steps. It's not a big mystery. I hope you enjoy this and thank you, thank you very much for your kindness and your good wishes. So here we go. I am going to read, uh, I'm going to read a passage from my book on Oregon Chinook Flies. And this was written by Jack Harrell a couple of years ago. Origins of the Ramon Salmon Killer. And, and I should say now that it, it might actually be Ramon. We're not sure. There's been a lot of time passed. Dan and Ramon Hout both related to Hout surfboards in Santa Cruz, California. Joined my son John and friends named Larry and Tex. They traveled north to fly fish for tidewater salmon in October. We'd had a rain, the river had come up a bit and dropped right back into perfect condition for tidewater fly fishing. The crowds had cleared out and we headed over to the estuary to try for salmon fishing from our eight foot prams. The boat hole was nearly deserted and a school of chrome chinook was rolling in the tail out. Ramon anchored above the school, whereas we anchored across from the school. We started casting and retrieving. He because he was anchored above, he could let his fly hang directly uh, in front of the fish. We didn't get a grab, but through the, through the next few hours, Ramon landed five bright hens, releasing all but one. I noticed that the fly he was using was bigger than our flies, tied on at least a size two hook, and it also had an extra large hot orange tail. Most of the flies I had used for Chinook and had caught plenty on were tied on four or size six hooks. They all had black tails that were fairly small. My first impression of the fly Ramon was using that it was simply too large for Chinook Boy, was I ever wrong. Talking this over with my son John after we'd finished fishing for the day, I asked if he knew what this fly pattern was called. John said that Ramon had meant to tie a boss fly, but in the rush to tie flies for the trip up to Oregon, he confused the directions and tied flies with hot orange instead of black tails. I suspect that the position Ramon was in, more above the school than beside the school like the rest of us was another key to his constant hookups. Thanks to Ramon for introducing this fly to the fly fishing clan up here. It remains one of our favorite patterns to this day. And thank you Jack for introducing me to this awesome salmon fly. Okay, there you have it. That is the origin of this very, very fine Chinook salmon fly. Thank you for joining me and I wish you a very good day today and every day, whether you're on the water or wherever you are.